Hello, Steve Dean Line and Pencil dot com here. Um, final instalment, and or, uh, and it's been uh, an eventful one and an interesting one with this little chap, um, pygmy chimpanzee or the Bonobus, officially termed and named. Um, we're nearly we're going to get the end of it, end of the tutorial, and. In doing so, we need to add, to finish off, we need to add the fingers here, here, the upper lip, cheek, cheeks there, nose, colouring, basically, we're going to put some colouring and um, bring out the eyes. Okay, let's get it going. So first of all, I'm going to look at the eyes, quite subdued, aren't they? Um, and if he was thinking, what would he be thinking? That's the question. What would he be thinking? Okay. So if we apply the brown, this is brown pastel by the way, darker brown, but just uh, broken up a little bit in transit and where I've been on different workshops and so forth in the in my uh, on my journey, my art journey. So I use a very light pastel to applying it around the eye and the same for this one the right his right eye and see if I'm making um, the lighter pieces here and here and some little eyelashes just you can see just across uh, the pupil um, and then a darker outer ring of the actual eye. I not, not, don't know the official terms, I should have hammed up on that term, but we'll get cracking anyway. So the, the retina, the, the oval colour of the eyes. Let's add a little bit more. And then there's a, a darker shade, isn't there? So we've got um, a lead, a, sort of charcoal pencil, rather than just charcoal sticks. This is actual charcoal pencil. Um, and I've got an extender on, just so I can get in a little bit closer. And it, also you can see the strokes just lightly filling out that centre bit. There's a little bit of a highlight in there, which I'll add with a, I'll show you as well. Are these little bits here, very minute on the photograph. Just the, they're called highlights. They give the eye, when you're doing a painting or drawing, they give the eye, bring the, the eye a life, a, a life to the eye. And looking through the um, window of the soul, even in mammals and any, any mammal or any animal, wildlife, human that we can, we interact with using our eyes to contact, to make contact. And um, highlight is one of those features you should feature in your drawings. It just brings it, brings it all, finishes it off if you like, the portrait. Just gonna add a very light touch with that. And then add the, the eyelashes as well, slightly over there. The top. Quite a dark area in here. As you can see, just there. Away. And the same over here, it comes down over the eye, the cavity and the upper lid, giving in a very slight, a very thin line towards the bottom under the eye because that's the most 
where the eye always come um, at its most rounded the lens of the eye. So we keep that literally just touch that there. Add a few more bits of darkness around here using the charcoal pencil. Just a touch in here, very light areas. The skin is very, it's very leathery, I would say. But I uh, don't know for sure, I never actually touched the chimpanzee's skin. And then we accentuate the, again. And don't overdo the lines because uh, there's a pinch there. It's a bit darker, a bit pinch. Just add the suggestion and the bridge of the nose. And when I made suggestion, just to give a hint, you don't have to do every minute detail because, again, at the end of the day, this isn't a reference to the photograph. We're not looking for lifelike. We're being playful as well and relaxing while you're doing it. This is um, a representation of nature, isn't it? From the photograph that you choose and how your interpretation through your uh, your hand, eye and hand coordination and to the, to the tip of the medium you're using. So then there's a heavier line here. And then one that goes up and then, and then one, it's like the frown, isn't it? Of the chimpanzee, the, the brow. Around for this piece. Quite a hard line there. I lift it around this, give that impression of the concave, would it be? I think the um, orbicular area around here. And nearly finishing that off. And uh, what we want to do is leave this lighter. So, what I'm going to use is the eraser in a moment just to lighten that up a bit. And then positions the focus from the an eye viewing a viewer's point of view will be your eyes are then cast the most detail or a sharper line into the eyes of the chimpanzee. And the nose is a little bit dark there, the shadow, which I'll smooth. Apart from that, there's a little bit of darkness under there, the shadow the tissue, the nostril hanging over. Um, one or two light lines there. And of course we've got the upper lip. And as the, as the upper lip hits the light coming in, it's less, it's less dark areas. And a bit round the ears, where the folds of the skin are in within the ears. We'll do something about it in a moment. Uh, the idea is to apply it and then smudge. Just a light touch, just a suggestion, as I say, the wrinkled skin of the chimpanzee we're looking at here, and then get a little bit of a get a finger, I mean, just smudge the cat, the ear area, the finger, just like that. Here as well. Again, being careful not to smudge the eyes. You don't want to smudge the eyes. 